All right, in this video, I'm going to test the performance of the Ryzen 9 9950X versus the Ryzen 9 3900X when it comes to simulating flip fluids inside of Blender. I have a simple scene set up on both machines. This right here is the 3900X and right here is the 9950X. Both of the scenes are identical, both a thousand frames. The uh, inflow object right here will create fluid for the first 800 frames and then uh, the water will just settle the fluid will settle I have a maximum of right here of 4 million foam particles that will be created and like I said both scenes are identical and the only uh, difference or the only difference is the hardware. This has, like I said, the 3900X and the 30 and the 9950X. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click bake, and then bake. Now I will fast forward through this because it will take at least an hour. Fast forwarding now. All right, I got about 30 to 40 seconds left on this one over here, the 3900X. Now the uh, 9950X, of course, was quicker, but it was a lot more quicker than I thought it would be. I thought they would be fairly close, but no, it was significantly quicker. I don't know the times, how long it took, because I didn't look at the clock or anything, but I will put the times down here in the bottom right-hand corner of each one, and it was... A substantial difference when this one finishes in a couple seconds I'm going to demonstrate how well the uh, user interface works how sluggish it is all right now I'm, I'm just gonna click play and you can see yeah the, the 9950x is scrubbing through the timeline quite a bit quicker it's still slow because I mean when it comes to flip fluids the bake files are generally huge like for an example let me look see how big uh, how much space is taken up by the bake files yeah see 20 22.2 gigabytes so that's a lot <coughs> and when you get down like around frame 800 that's where it's gonna pro more than likely have the most uh, um, the largest bake files so yeah see this one is already up to frame one 30 and this one's 104 and the difference will just get larger the further along in the uh, simulation it gets so what I'm going to do here at this point I'm just going to stop both of them and then I'm going to go to let's say frame 800 because that's the last frame to where it's uh, producing fluid all right and then go frame 800 on this one and let me come up here to the preferences and I'm just going to select the 3060 because we're not doing a render performance we're just going to be testing how long it takes to send the uh, information to the GPU before it starts rendering because we're only interested in the time it takes to actually start rendering all right and the reason why I'm using 3060 is because in this slot right here it's essentially using uh, all 16 lanes at three dot, pardon me, at four dot O speeds, just like this one. So it would be a fair comparison. And of course, this one, it's just got the single 3080 Ti. But but again, we're not testing render performance; just the amount of time it takes to um, build the scene, to or prepare the scene to be sent to the GPU. So the moment it starts rendering, that's what we're looking for. All right, I'm just going to hit render image and render image 
and see this one it already accomplished it in the 3090 it didn't take too much longer but it did take longer that's what i was looking for in this test all right i guess that's about it for this i will render this scene and then just put it somewhere in the video just so you can take a look at it but there's nothing special about the scene it's a very basic scene just meant to demonstrate the uh, simulation performance of the 3900x versus the 9950x if you have any suggestions about other tests you would like me to perform let me know guess that's it later people